Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and it's from LaserBuzz. Uh, they used to, I don't even know if they're still around, but they used to sell files like this, and they still might. I just, I never have bought one. So please don't ask me for this because I can't share it. But there's some, there's three colors in this file. This is the original file. We've been kind of working on this over the last several days. There's blue, reds, and black. And with color mapping, that would work. But what's wrong is that this isn't an, an RGB black. It's a CMYK blue. You know, even the black is an RGB black. So what we need to do, and the blacks are separated, so you can't just change them all at one time. You can see the globe. So what we need to do is we need to change all the, uh, all the blacks. So let's go to edit. Find and replace, find object, begin new search next. We want an outline. We want outline properties next. We want color. And because it is a not one of our colors, normally laser users, we're going to go down and we're going to get the eyedropper tool and we're going to get that CMYK black. And then we're going to go next, finish. Find all. It found all the blacks. So right here, we've got all the blacks selected. We can do a number of things. And if I had set my nudge factor better, I could do that. But we've got them all selected. We're going to double click on this. And we're going to make it an RGB black. And now let's just test our theory. So we've got all the blacks. And it's an RGB black. So this way you could color map that. We don't, I'm not worried about the reds or the blues right now. Well, let's do, we would want all the blues grouped together. And I'm going to set my nudge factor on like 15 inches. Just to kind of show you. Edit. Find and replace, find object, begin new search, outline, outline properties, next. Let's move that over. Go right here to color. Go down to, well, we're going to find a CMYK, and we want that blue. Click off that, next, finish, find all. And now let's nudge them out of the way. So there's all our blues. We can double click on this, make it a hairline, make it, it's, somehow it got to be an RGB blue, or we're going to make it an RGB blue, so let's just test it, nope, it didn't do it, but you could select all these and right click, and now it's an RGB blue. And what I would do for this, I would fill in, you know, instead of color mapping, I would take the United States and I would left click fill, right click no fill. That's going to engrave the little marine saying, left click, right click. Those will not cut out. Left click or left click, right click. Now the stars I would want cut out. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and select both of them. I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to make them a hairline, and I'm going to make them black. Well, let's do this. Go over here and take this black. So now, all these stars are an RGB black, the same as that. Because I would want this cut out, and I would want the stars cut out. Now we need to probably find all the reds. So let's go to edit, find, find and replace. Now you could find and replace, but I don't hardly ever use that. Edit, find and replace, find object, new search, next. Outline, outline properties, next. Color, and 
we're going to take the eyedropper tool and get on one of those reds. You can see it's a CMYK. Next, finish, find all, and now let's move them over and let's turn them into a hairline and into RGB. Let's test our theory. Now, with everything selected, I would just left click your RGB red. There it is. Now, everything's pretty much done. You've got blue, they're RGBs, they're all RGBs. You've got blacks, they're going to cut out. So, what I would do, if you don't want to mess with color mapping, you could stop right now. I'm going to control. G and group those together. The only thing I don't understand, you would want this this one cut out. The bacteria of the deal. So I'm going to change it to a black. And then what I would do is this is this is all your cutout stuff. All in the middle. <clears throat> Personally, what I would do is force that black all the way over. Force all your other blacks, well, we grouped it. Let's go to a range and ungroup. Let's take the United States and move it over one click. Take the Marine Corps and move it over one click. So this is all our cut lines. I'm going to group this together. Arrange, Control, G. And I'm going to move it over to that black. All the other lines are vector. I mean, are going to be their hairlines, but what I would do is put that in there, move that over. I know this might be a little bit confusing. So now all we have is three things that are going to engrave, and then you would run a combination job. So let's go to Printer, I don't ever have a laser hook up to this laptop, but we'll change it to a engraving. Preferences. And also my my bed size is different than his. So it doesn't the preview is going to look funny. But I would do a combination job. It's set on seal two. I would raster engrave it at a hundred power at 70 speed. Get it pretty deep. But I would vector cut it at 100 speed and if it's going to be cut out of plywood it's not going to cut at 50 percent i would run that job and do do all the engraving and do this vector the vector is going to go through here and just go real fast and mark these lines because they are hairlines but they're not going to cut all the way through because you're only going 50 percent then what I would do is take this out of the off the page. I would grab it all. Take this off the page and cut this out with a, just a vector job at a hundred power and ten speed or whatever it takes you to cut through plywood. I do not like that it's not all one piece when I broke that apart a while ago. But what you would also want to do, and it's pretty important, would be to go to Windows, Dockers, Object Properties, no, Object Manager, sorry, Windows, I'm using 8 right now, because it. I like the uh, Object Manager. And this line right here, is right there. Now it's showing me every, everything on the screen. So I'm going to delete this for just a second. Now it just shows me these lines. I would want it most definitely to cut this line last. And you can see it's right there. Now this is a group. It's going to cut it. It's going to cut it. It's going to cut the outside first. So I would move this up above it. 
because Corel starts on the bottom in this thing and goes up, or your Epilogue does, or who, whatever brand laser you have. So it's going to cut all this out, and then it's going to cut out the outside. And the reason you want it to cut out the outside last is that it's going to drop out and fall. And if your bed's not level or your vector bed's got some little bit of warpage in it, if you cut this out first, these cuts might not be correct because they might be a little deeper. I really hope that made sense. Um, it's actually got on the master page no printing, but it, it'll print. It'll, it'll engrave. That's one way to do it without color mapping. So we're going to bring that file back in. And what's so neat about this, after you've done this, I'm going to show you. We're going to group all this together. And really and truly, I would have probably done it before. We go to Arrange and Group and Group All Objects. I'm going to go Control-D and make a duplicate. He's got his file set on, and it bugs me, on 2.5.25. So, zero, zero. And the reason for that is the duplicate is going to go right on top. I don't need that anymore. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that's all in one group. So, let's group it together. Control-G, group object. Now, with this ratio... And I don't know why it's not a perfect circle. I would want it perfect. So I'm going to go, I think he makes them 4.5 inches for like an ornament. And he also told me that, and if you unlock this, then you can make both of them 4.5. He does 80% of his work in a donation to veterans type stuff. This way, nothing has changed. This would still cut out and still work. Everything's still a hairline. Let's just prove that. Group, ungroup. Let's take that line right there. Double click. And it's not. So you might actually, John, you might actually have to turn those back into hairline. Hairlines normally don't change. Oh, you know what I didn't do? That's a good thought. When I was messing with these, our nudge factor is still set pretty high. I would select all those. Well, let's back up. Let's do it completely. Let's kind of go back over this. Let's delete this. Let's take that black line. Let's nudge it over. Let's double click on it right here. So we're going to make it a hairline, but we need to scale with object. So you kind of need to do that with all of them, all your lines after you found them. Now let's group this together. Control G. Make a duplicate. Nudge it over. Let's reduce it to 4.5 by 4.5. And now let's break it apart and see if I am correct. See, it still shows up as, I, I think that's below a hairline. I don't really know, but I would go ahead and change them all to hairlines. And if by chance it didn't cut, you could always recut it. Because you definitely would want this cut out. Because if you look at it with the Smart Fill tool, and it's got some leaks, but that doesn't really matter because all the lines are connected. Uh, it's just got some leaks in the, in the black somewhere. And I think we found some the other day. And let's just look real quick with the pick tool. Let's break it apart. See, those lines are not connected. So what you'd want to do, and I don't understand that line right there, but it's not my drawing. There's actually an engraving uh, on top of there. So those lines right there might not be connected. Uh, I would really look through here because the black's going to cut. I wouldn't want that to cut like that. I think we did this the other day. And 
who knows whoever drew this what plan they had like that line right there is going to engrave and cut or you don't really want that and it doesn't matter if these lines aren't touching but and it doesn't matter if it leaks in this case because we're not really trying to fill it in it's still going to cut the laser even though there might be a broken line somewhere and I can't really remember where they were the other day and like I don't understand that line right there here are two lines that are, are definitely not together but you don't really want to mess up like that because if you get go too far you've messed up the circle then select both those go up to windows dockers join curves and it'll put those two I didn't select both of them select shift select it and put apply now those two lines are together still going to leak but it doesn't matter because it's going to cut all that out and this is just some vector engraving so the it's going to lightly cut this out but it won't cut all the way through the wood and it'll save you a lot of time because the only part has got to engrave or these three words. Everything else is going to cut out. I know that was a long video and I apologize for that, but hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.